Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo for Thursday, April 11th. You can see that S&P 500 remains near the key level of 2900 and there is only 1.2% until the record high of this stock index. The market is overall optimistic despite various warnings about economic slowdown and the cautious approach of the European Central Bank, the cautious tone of the Federal Reserve's meeting which we released yesterday, and also the fact that IMF warned about various risks uh, to the global economy this week. The Federal Reserve is patient about um, interest rates and all in all the market believes that given muted inflation and uh, rather solid fundamentals of the US economy in general, the Fed's policy uh, will be positive for the stock market and help uh, the stocks stay at highs and go even higher. Of course, worries remain and the earnings season starts in the United States as uh, banks will report first quarter earnings on Friday. And uh, these banks are JP Morgan. We can see that volatility is increasing here as the market is getting more nervous. Resistance is located around the 200 day moving average in the area of 1750 while uh, the key support is located in the area of 104 the 50 day moving average another bank to report um, earnings on friday is wells fargo and here the stock is persistently uh, pulling at support it closed below 48 level on Wednesday and now the focus is on the 47 mark and the break below this level will open the way down for the further declines here. The expectations about this uh, banks are rather low as banks have been in the difficult position so far given the uh, lower yields in the United States. Other interesting stocks to watch is the home furnishing retailer Bed Bath and Beyond. Here there was a big slump in the stock price as the company made um, weak forecasts for the uh, current quarter. Uh, however, the general trend here was uh, positive. We can see an attempt to close the bearish gap. The stock will surely lose momentum for some time and uh, there is potential for consolidation between 17.10 and uh, levels around 19 or 20 on the upside. Lyft managed to uh, recover a bit on Thursday after the big sell-off in the previous days. The market is still awaiting the information about the details of um, IPO of Uber, main um, competitor of Lyft. The IPO will take place next month and on Thursday uh, Uber should release some information uh, about this upcoming listing. Also pay attention to the stock of Tesla. Uh, there were some positive news yesterday. However, today the stock opened with a gap down as Tesla and Panasonic Corporation said that they are holding off uh, further investments in Tesla's uh, factory in Nevada. So um, this thing is surely negative for Tesla. We can expect some further um, movement between 260 and 280 levels for the stock. And uh, finally, Boeing is trying to hold to support levels, um, but if it fails to return above 370, the pressure on 360 will intensify and below this level we'll see a deeper sell-off as the company is going through really difficult times right now. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel.